Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Brawi Got This. And today we are going to be going over a guide for the brand new armory system coming in ESO for the next DLC patch, the Deadlands. And let me tell you something, this system as I have dived into this has been such a great experience. I am honestly so excited for the system. And, and the more I get in the system, I keep thinking like, wow, this is going to save me a lot of time. And it's honestly going to give me so much versatility when I'm playing my characters. Like I might not even have to create a whole new character anymore because I can just play whatever I want on a certain class. So when saying that, I am excited to show you guys the ins and outs of how the system works. It's actually very simple to understand once you get in and you actually start utilizing the system. Real quick, I do wanna give a shout out to our newest patrons, Songbird and Carmine. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Thank you so much for supporting the Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron, check out the link below in the description. You can get access to early videos and you can get your name up here on the screen, which is pretty cool. And if you ever wanna watch me play live, I'll be streaming on twitch.tv slash probably got this and you can join our Discord. All those links are below in the description and check out our website at BroadwayGotThis.com where this guide will eventually be live as well, plus many other things. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first thing that I just wanna talk about with the Armory system is the fact that this has been something that I have honestly been waiting for for so long and I didn't even realize it. If you've been on PC, you've had add-ons like dressing room, you've had add-ons like alpha gear, and what those add-ons did is allowed you to save builds uh, and like templates of builds to your character, but I've always found them to be kind of janky in some ways. And the problem with those is you could not, you know, override certain morphs. So if you wanted to be a DPS on a Dragonite, like right here, I'm a DPS right now, and then you wanted to play as a tank or a healer, you could switch your armor around in those systems, but you would still have to remorph all your skills to the correct morphs because not all your skills are going to be the same. They're going to be different. And then you'd have to redo your attributes and your CP points. And for me, this system, it just alleviates all of that. It is fantastic. So the first thing you need to do is when you want to do this, and this again, by the way, is going to be on all characters uh you can do this in the base game you do not have to have any expansions or dlc or eso plus to utilize this so what you'll do is you'll need to have a house or go to a place that has a house um and utilize their armory system if you've got your own house then what you can go is go to the crown store this is completely free you want to go to your furniture tab you want to go to special and you want to go to the armory station okay now i've already purchased this it's free it's completely free guys so you don't have to pay any money for this uh, but once you do that you can purchase it and once you have it come into your house you can press uh, whatever the key is for you uh, mine is equal sign r to browse and it's going to be uh, i believe in your services i can't remember exactly where it was at right there but you're basically going to place it and you're going to put it down in your house okay so this is now the armory system now there is an armory assistant that they are putting in the store uh, if you go to upgrades, assistance, he's right here. It's only one crown, but it's going to be more than that. They only do this in the PTS just because it allows you to uh, buy as much stuff as you want to try things out, or uh, they also don't want to reveal how much it's going to be. I'm assuming this is going to be like 5,000 crowns, just like any other assistant. I don't see why it wouldn't be. So if you want an assistant, this is something that can travel with you mobily. Now, I know they did say that you cannot... Uh, use this inside of an uh, arena or a trial because those are leaderboard based things so you can't just like switch on the run now i do realize i think you can use this in dungeons so now that we have the armory system here uh, here is the interface the interface is fantastic it is such a cool looking ui the uh, console ui looks different i think uh and so this is what it looks like and you'll see here that you've got, uh, I've got mine set up to be DK Shield Healer and DK Madge DPS. Now you only get two base slots in for each character. So every character you have will have two base slots. The other slots that I have here, I got from the Crown Store. So you can only um, get extra ones by going to the Crown Store and buying them. Again, I'm not sure what these are gonna be, probably 1500 crowns if I had to guess. Uh, and some people might not like that. They, they might just wish that they'd give us all of it for free, but it's a way for them to make money. So you you can have up to 10 slots on each character, but I'm, I'm glad that you have at least two. Uh, so essentially, uh, what you'll do is you'll see the interface here 
or the first character. You immediately can look at these icons here, equip build, save build, build settings. So when you first go in, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna save your build. So you will press R and that'll save your build into this template. That saves all your CP, that saves all your attributes, your weapons, your skill bars, your equipment, your curse. So if you have vampirism or werewolfism, again, I think it's called lycanthropy or something. I don't know. Uh, and it saves your outfit. Now I've realized that the outfit doesn't seem to change. So I thought it did change, but maybe that's a bug. I'm not really sure, but there it will save all of that. Now you'll see here that I have a Madge DPS for DK. I'll get to that here in a second. But what I was trying to figure out is like, okay, so I saw this template and I was like, wait, does that mean that I'm going to have to actually still go and respec my skills and reset them and my attribute points and my champion points and my morphs and all that stuff. And then I was like, wait, I don't think so. That's, that's the whole point of this. So if you have an empty build template, if you wanna reset your character to just a blank slate, you can press E to equip build here. What it'll say is, are you sure you want to equip build three? This will respec your skill, champion, and attribute points and set your quick slots to what is saved in this armory build. So you'll click accept, okay? So when I do that, I am naked now, yay. No, I'm just kidding. But now what happens is all your skill points are reset or free. All your champion points are reset for free. And all of your attributes are reset for free and you don't have any armor or quick slots uh, equipped. Wow, this guy looks like he really wants to like, you know, I don't know that dang, he's looking, this guy's looking pretty cool. Anyways, so that is, uh, that is basically how you reset everything to go to a blank build. So now what you'll need to do is spend about 10 minutes creating your character or the build that you want on your account, okay? So what you'll do then is you need to make sure that the items that you want in your build is in your inventory. They did say that they will not pull from your bank. So if you've got a bunch of items here in your bank, you need to make sure that you have them in your inventory when you equip them. Honestly, the next step after that is just equipping the items that you want. So you need to put your armor on. So I started putting uh, Burning Spell Weave on. I started pu uh, putting uh, my False Gods on. I put my Zahn helmet and shoulder piece on. Then I started going through my skills and morphing them to a DPS build for Magicka DK. Then I put some potions on my Quick Slot Bar. And I had no curse on this character, so I didn't need to worry about that. I also went and did my fashion because you, you all know me, I love fashion, it's fantastic. And then the last thing I did was my attributes and my champion points. So once you do that, you will come over to this and you will press R to save build and it will save it to the template. So I saved it to this one right here. You obviously see I'm still naked over here. So I, I don't have another build that I want right now, but I saved this here earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to equip this by pressing E. You just press E to accept and the build is equipped. You now have your Magicka DK DPS. You have your wall of elements. You have your eruption. You have all of this, right? You have this, you have that bar. You have your armor, false gods, burning spell weave, Zons. You got your Maelstrom Inferno, okay? You've got all your CP as well, which is crazy. It's just crazy. So now say I want to uh, go heal a dungeon. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna click DK Shield Healer. I'm going to press E to equip. Bam. I'm now a DK Shield Healer. My attributes are still Magicka, but uh, my skill is complete. My skills are completely different. Different. I have my Restoration Staff skills. I've got all these skills that are uh, different there as well. I've got completely new armor sets on. I've got Imperium, Earth Gore. Uh, full killers gauntlets. I've got um, completely new CP points in here as well. It's just absolutely absurd, y'all. This is a, just an amazing quality of life update. But one thing you will notice is I didn't say anything about Mundestone or Mundestone. I say that wrong every time. I apologize. The one thing that you have to change every time is your Mundestone. Okay. So right now I still have the Thief Mundestone. So if I wanted to go get the um, ritual or Atronach or whatever I want for this DK Shield Healer, I need to make sure I always go and change that. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Another neat thing about this system is at least in the base UI, it will show you items in your inventory that are a part of an armory build. If you see this right here, it's got the sword and the shield icon. 
this will allow you to see like, okay, my burning spell we've sash in this inventory is a part of an armory build. So I need to make sure I don't deconstruct this. That is a really cool quality of life thing that I really enjoy because it just allows me to see like, okay, I need to make sure I don't deconstruct this at all. Another thing to note is you'll see build settings, right? Right here, if you press F. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this. You can rename your build, whatever you would like. It does have a cap on character, so you can't just name it like a 50 character thing. And you can change the icon, which is actually really cool. I think these icons are really, really neat. Um, I absolutely love it. And so you can put it and customize it the way that you want. As you'll see, if you do get the armory assistant, you can talk to Grasharog or however you say it. He looks really, really cool. Kind of looks like a orc from uh, Lord of the Rings. You can click armory here and you can do the exact same thing. But let me know what you think about the army system down in the comments below. Let me know if you think this is something that is super crucial for you or if it's not at all. I think this is gonna be something so very, very helpful for a lot of players and they don't realize it because you're gonna be able to just create builds for one character and not have to switch to other characters. Like if you wanna make a bunch of sorcerer uh, builds, you don't have to make a completely new sorcerer, which is really, really nice, honestly. And it gives you a reason to grind that character out on other aspects. So I'd love to hear y'all's feedback on this. And I hope that this guide did help you all out. Remember, I do stream on twitch.tv slash probably got this. We do have a discord. The link below is in the description as, long, as well as the Twitch and our website at probablygotthis.com. And if you did like this content, make sure to like, subscribe, heavy attack that bell icon to stay up to date on all the content in the channel and you increase your DPS as well when you ring that bell. But until next time, y'all, just remember to have faith, be great, and I'll see you on ESO.